Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and I'm about to get me a Sword of Malice on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. So here's what I was talking about here. I finally was able to get a guy to get me a Sword of Malice, and uh, let's see, yes, I will definitely take one of those. Now, as we're going through this process, um, let's see, so yes, and no. No. Good. And I don't want you to buy it. Yeah, no matter what, do not sell that Sword of Malice. Because, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Once we are able to save up enough money, we're gonna come back and we're gonna purchase that ourselves. Uh, and then you can actually are able to do that. Yes. And then, yeah. Sure, why not? Okay. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish uh, doing some business here with Taloon. And then, uh, once I'm done with that... I will purchase uh, some of the things that I need, and I'll show you which stuff I purchased. And then we will go and start exploring with Taloon. So, no. No. Good. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I've gotten the money that I wanted to get now. Uh, exactly a thousand gold. I didn't expect to end up with exactly a thousand, but there you go. Okay, there's a couple things I want to show you before we leave this village. Um... So, uh, I'll just show you. There's one piece of dialogue I forgot to show you. Good, I'm glad to see you've been a good boy. Aw, oh, now look at that nice young man. He's really looking out for his mommy and daddy. I love it. Okay, I will. Okay, and another thing that's great about this chapter is that you get a free inn pretty much any time you want. All you need to do is just talk to your wife, and you have a free place to stay. So, that's pretty cool. Actually, I really like that. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to show you guys um, what happens, uh, or how I earn some of the money that I did by selling the lunch, okay? Uh, so I'm going to save a state real quick, and uh, you just go up here, and you can offer to sell it, and then you can sell your lunch. And every time I did this, um, actually I'll just say no. So anyways, um, so I don't really need to load a state. So anyways, every time I did uh, one of my trips, I sold my lunch for seven extra gold. So pretty much that fat-ass Taloon hasn't eaten in like seven days. So, and you know, he seems like he could lose, uh, he could uh, stand to lose the weight. Anyways, um, I also wanted to mention that uh, to get the gold that I wanted, um, it only took about ten minutes with turbo mode. Um, after that, fir the first time lasts a really long time getting up customers, but every other time it only lasts for about, you know, 10 at the max, you know, at the maximum 10 customers. So, um, it goes real quick. I bet if you were playing normally, it'd take you about 20, 25 minutes of doing that, um, to get what you wanted. No, I am here as a customer today. I would like to purchase some stuff, as a matter of fact, and we still have my Sword of Malice, but I actually want to get a Thorn Whip. And, uh, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and equip that so Toon can actually defend himself. There we go. Good. Um... And the reason that I wanted to get up to $1,000 now, and I wanted to purchase some armor, and we'll go over that here in a second. I'm going to purchase the best armor that I can. Uh, and you want to do that before you leave the town, because, um, thank you. Uh, let's see, because what you want to do is, at, from this point until you get to the end of the chapter, you want to be able to defend yourself. Yeah, look at that increase in defense. That's really good. And all of the money that you save, you want to put towards that sort of malice. Uh, and now we'll trade in Taloon's clothes, so he'll actually... Um, if we had just sold his clothes, he'd be running around naked. And, well, we don't want that. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, I could buy a leather shield. Nah, I don't need it. I have enough defense. So, but yeah, you want to save up all your money for the Sword of Malice. That's just going to be so important. So, alright. We've got all of our equipment. Uh, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and see what Taloon can do in the world of fighting. Alright, so... You'll notice that there's the town of Frenor from Chapter 2, so we've just simply crossed the ocean. And apparently, by crossing the ocean, you get some new music. So, there you go. Well, let's see what, can, what Taloon can do. Eh, we got a couple of enemies that we've seen before. Yeah, I think you can only hit me for one damage. I can almost one-shot them, so... So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, they really can't touch me. Yeah, we can defeat those slimes in one hit, so awesome. All right, very good. So yeah, no problems there. Um, you're probably gonna want to fight up to at least level two, if not level three, um, before heading into that cave. 
Yeah, there you go. At least get one level. And that, you know, honestly, that should be enough. Um, to... Whoa. Oh, well, how about that? And a new thing to Chapter 3 is you can randomly run into a dude that has an item store. And of course, we don't need anything, so, uh... That's pretty, uh, so, there you go. Yeah, a little traveling merchant, so, that's kind of cool. I like how they added that in there. And the slime is bewildered. Yeah, not bad. Um, ah. And here's another thing about this, um, chapter, is that Taloon actually has a very high chance of getting treasure chests from enemies, him being a merchant. Oh. Uh, so that's going to be good. That's going to help us earn some money. Also, new to Taloon is the Appraise Command. And what Taloon can do is he can look at the um, item and see if it can be used as a special effect. And you can see, um, you know, what the shop will pay for it. All that good stuff. Let's appraise the lunch. <laughs> and there you go. So, <laughs> there you are. So anytime you need to know what an item does and uh, who can equip it, uh, and that will be important later on. Uh, just appraise the item, and then you'll be good to go, and you can find out what it does, so, okay, uh, let's see, where's that cave? Okay, no, I'm good. So, I think the cave's just up here, yeah, there it is, so, uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fight up to, uh, at least get one more level, and then, um, head back to town, rest up, and then we will take on, uh, that cave. Okay, so I'll just go back to town and I'll uh, uh, get up to level 2. Ooh, it's almost nighttime. Alright, and there's the level for Taloon that I wanted. I just edited it to this point because uh, you don't need to see me beat up some more enemies. Alright, cool. So what I'm going to do is just go talk to my wife, uh, get some rest, and then be back and we'll start taking on that cave. Alright, we're ready to go. I've got up to level 2. I've healed up. So let's go check out this cave. Ha <laughs> ha! Something awesome just happened. Now this can happen, um, actually, I got very lucky and I just won a battle and I just got an iron spear. So I'm going to equip that. Look at that jump and attack power. So that's very cool. Um, and that, you know, that can randomly happen. Sometimes you can find a chain sickle. Sometimes you can find some armor. I mean, it's crazy the things you can find. So that's very, 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 very cool. I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. Whoops, my bad. I to go up those stairs. Okay, so what we want to do now is head over here. And there's a button. Do we want to push it? Sure, why not? Okay, and now we're on the next floor. And eventually what you may want to do is... Uh, is um, just fight around for a little bit and see what you can come up with, uh, and or weapons-wise. Okay, now we don't want to push that button just yet. We want to first go up here and get this chest, and we get a chain sickle. Now, if you weren't able to get an iron spear, you get—I mean—a really, really good weapon in the chain sickle uh, pretty early on. So, yeah, I mean that's an uh, upgrade from the thorn whip. So, even if you don't use it, or even if you don't get an Iron Spear, you'll still be able to whip most of the enemies um, uh, early on. So, now we want to push the button. Wah! Washed away! Washed away! And that's how you, need, and that's how you get past that area. Wah! Okay, there you go. So, yeah, if you just tried to walk down there, um, you wouldn't be able to advance because of the water there. Okay, and now we want to head up here... Down this way. Okay. Now, let's see what we need to do here. Head over this way. Ah, yes, I remember this part. Okay, give me just a second here, BCS Universe. Okay, so, here's what we need to do. We need to go down this way. And as soon as you do that, the boulder starts coming after you. Crap. Now what we want to do is go this way, and then as soon as it gets close to us, take a right, because we want it to follow us. There you go. Now head this way, and now what we want to do is make sure that it doesn't go in that hole right there, but we want it to follow us to the left. There we go, good. And as soon as we do that, go up here, yeah, and the boulder will automatically recognize to go down, because apparently we're on a downhill slope, and it covers up that hole, and now we can go right across. 
Excellent. Good job. Okay. Now, let's see. We want to go this way and push this up. Yeah, you can tell this is going to be a puzzle room the second you walk into it because of these boulders. Because watch this. If you try to go here, we get the iron safe. All right. But as you do that, look at that. See? Now we're stuck. But, uh, let's see. Return the treasure you've stolen. Yeah, look at this. And now we got to return the iron safe. But now, if you do this, we just simply move this over. And now take the iron safe. That will happen. And just go, eh. And there we go. And now we can leave with the iron safe. Yay! Victory is mine. So now what I'm going to do is just backtrack my way out of this cave. And then uh, I'll probably end up meeting you back in the town of Lakanaba to uh, plan our next move. All right, we've made it back. And um, yeah, let's see if we can find out what the iron safe does. Yes, it is awesome. <laughs> so basically what the iron safe does is if you happen to die, uh, you won't lose all of your money. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm actually never going to die. So if you actually don't want to get the iron safe, that would be okay. Um, you know, because again, you're never going to need it. But um, the story kind of leads us there, and I wanted the chain sickle, so. No, I have not. Okay, so we have a pretty nice box. He'll just kind of let you do what you want, so. All right. Well, uh, that's all I wanted to do in this episode, is just get the iron uh, safe. And again, I got lucky and got an iron spear. So what I'm going to do now is sell all of my excess items, and then I will meet you uh, back here for the next part of our adventure. But what awaits to loon the arms merchant? What do we need to do next? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, take care y'all.